Hey, so yeah, it should be alive now. So, yeah, I'm gonna be doing some more scramble here. Uh, last one we leveled up a few times compared to the previous save. I didn't save over the previous save data, but forgot to do that. Like, or over the second save files, previous save data, like I normally do. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna be continuing where I left off. So, we're about to be finishing the third or third gel. Hmm. Though there are a few requests. Here's what I found. Well, one from Ryuji. You're doing this one? You're doing this one? Nuking the stars. Hey, so defeat Queen, my strength is weakness. You're accepting this request? You're doing this one? You're doing this one? You're doing this one? You're doing this one? Different words are right? unless it's like infinite. Yeah, Ryuji said that he wanted to see me. Simply replaying it with my eye fills with the deepest passion. It makes me want to shout. The trap, uh, the travel is wonderful. Seeing new things stimulates the sense of like that. Like, sure, I have 20 luxury fake breakers, but I think it's important to grab them so that way I don't die. Maybe I'm being under the influence of a joke. Could be the case. I'm gonna freeze to death. This trail's freezing. Whatever happened to some almost makes me want to throw it to a contestant. Hey, maybe I should pull one of them. This Hatsu is being up. I heard it's. I don't know what she's been originally. I guess the. Um, spatial. It's difficult to have to get some Hey, you Russian traffic in Hokkaido is a unique experience. I feel like we have access to food that's only available here. Well, you done? Want your you don't marry you don't marry at all marry at all want your you don't marry you don't come again. Oh, that's a hmm? I had all of that yet coming out of the request, and now I'm just all out. Can I help? Her? That's the case. All you said, all the case. All you come again. Here. Mm. Well, 
come. Thanks, and please come back soon. I should barely just that one. Mm -hmm. These things do come in clutch whenever I'm just in the I need to use them more often while I'm kind of or actually in the gel rather than I'm just uh yeah. so, Hey there! Wouldn't it be nice to celebrate some of the kind of cuisine? Meat would be nice too. Drink these food for instance. I heard eating lamb is good for your skin. Though I don't cross lamb much, so I wouldn't know how to read it. Fingers. Authentic Kaido cuisine. Okay, search so complete. I have a recipe you might like. I have a box maybe. What? Can you please? Oh, can you teach me too? Hey! Hey, well, sorry for calling you out of the blue like that. So listen, I was wondering if you heard of this. Whenever someone says Sephora, they automatically think of this. Yeah, dude, what else? But apparently there's this legendary woman somewhere around here that's like the king of all the world. But when I heard that, I was like, Awesome! Gotta eat it. You're feeling on me on this, right? Come on, was it? I need that moment and I need it now. We did it! I knew you'd get it, dude. Let's chow down on some top tier ramen. Get a power boost back up. Ramen's so delicious. They call it cake. I would also like to see it. See, you're the one who don't No, you don't have a choice. It's at a place called Armigo, and I think it's pretty close by. We'll probably have to get in line. Please hold up. I ran a search, but it looks like their legendary ramen is already sold out. No, that can't be. How? It's so popular that all of the meal tickets were typically sell moments after the shop opens. Today's portion is already out. How? When it opens, it goes right away. No, we still have a chance. There seems to be an ultimate way to get For real? The shop manager has expressed that he wants tourists to be able to enjoy Bob or the moment as well. So he intentionally sets his life to get to be sold in a different location. He talks to the manager, so where there is really some tickets. Apparently it's not a shop that's you know, with that red sign. Sorry, I don't have any more details. Red sign. But, no way, man. Hey, that's more than enough to go on. Let's get, or let's get to find those tickets. You're on board with this too, yeah? I'll pay you back for that. Man, you mind if I just send this over here to you as a request? No, I'll be good. We gotta get this stuff and make sure you are doing where it's like mm -hmm. I've seen it. So I have ramen stuff too, very interesting. I'd like to see it too. After you accept a request, let's begin the hunt for the store with the red slime. Hmm. This is the request. You're doing this one? Okay, so this one's Time to get to work. You're accepting this request? Time to get to work. You're accepting this request? You're doing this one? Time to get to work. You're accepting this request? You're already working on this one. Okay, so now I need to find a store Sign. Hey there! You made your show. Here you go! Stop by I'm again! Out. A store with a red sign. So I need to make sure that I'm going to buy stores. So it could be a big thing. Hey, 
mistake again. Thanks a lot. Nice lap, wasn't it? Maybe it's not a war anymore. I doubt it would be. I'll go back to it later. There's still a few things that have to happen before I finish this trail first anyway. Mari-san's castle. Its appearance is rather striking. The closer we get, the more vivid its detail. Detail aside, we can't get in again. Then let's search for another entrance. I should write something. Are you 
double checking the request? Let's go on ahead. Fire. I won't hold back. Fire. Okay, leave it to Fire. me. like a
this first be done. Does she like jump for it? Once we get in the castle, we're headed straight for the roof. Infiltration successful. <laughs> Shadow spotted ahead. Be careful. Joker to play on his own because he'll probably uh, use his SP in not that great of situations. Hmm. Uh, Let's see. I was being a bit louder than last time. Magnificent design. This is no time to be distracted by architecture. There are enemies here. Jack-o-lantern! Now! Oh, 
any shadows around. Should be up ahead. But there's a problem. The door is frozen. All right, Skull, you're up. Heck no! I don't want my hands getting stuck. Guess that's not an option then. Let's find another way. This might be of interest. Oh yes, a treasure chest. I do know that there's a chest back there, but it's been in a very out spot, but I figured I'd put this enemy in the out of the way first. There, we may be able to ascend the outer wall. Definitely a possibility. Oh, shadow inside. Huh. Better keep moving. What's that? This will be what we need. Should be threatening us by now? I don't think they're here to mess around. Be ready for a challenge.
just ahead. Let's not waste any time. So this is where the monarch of Sapporo resides. Is this all carved ice? It must be really cold. A frozen cape that denies all entry. Does this represent her distrust for all others? You are? You don't look so good. Are you alright? Mm -hmm. I should be. Then let us proceed as usual. Skull, it's up to you. I know why you're volunteering me. Here goes nothing. You did this? It's all your fault. How could you be so ignorant? Did you not think a snow sculptor could collapse? I... I apologize on behalf of our staff. Here it comes. Collapsing snow sculpture. This is where she. It must have been so heavy. It must have been so painful. Get me back, Kaho. Give me back my daughter. And my precious little girl. The accident resulted from my own personal oversight. Truly, I'm so sorry. Is the mayor the one apologizing? There's still more. Well, I didn't think the statues would fall on anybody. But isn't this the mayor's responsibility in the end? Well, besides, who can blame me? Well, we don't get paid nearly enough. Nothing wrong with taking a little kickback here and there. Those voices must be the root of Mariko Hiyoda's trauma. 
So that snow sculpture incident. Didn't we first hear about it at the park? We did, but I had no idea. Could Mari-san have really been involved? Is that the source of her trauma? Taking the blame for that incident? Don't forget the guy's voice. Sounded like he was trying to pass the blame on someone. At any rate, this is vital information. Let's go back to reality and confirm the truth. Yeah, it looks like my mic's a bit more sensitive now. It wasn't as sensitive earlier. It's kind of weird. I don't know what change was. We dug up some articles about the snow sculpture incident. Let me fill you guys in. Two years ago, a large snow sculpture collapsed during the December Snow Festival sponsored by Sapporo Central City. Kaho Nanase-chan, a nine-year-old girl, was caught in the collapse and died. Despite Mir Hyodo's apology, the accident was ruled as an unforeseeable disaster. Therefore, she wasn't held liable. Oh, so that's what the flowers in the park were for. I wonder if the voice accusing Mari-san was the poor girl's mother. So this is Mari-san's trauma. That park where the snow festival was held is probably where the accident happened. Yeah. Let's use Emma and enter the keyword there. Hmm. Something happened in the rural park. And those guys are at the hideout first and head out. There should be a warm card in the place. Let's just fly three times or any indication. Don't skip on the prep warp and pause. Welcome. Is that thank you is that for you? Thanks for stopping by. Maybe let's ask him about the game of the world tickets. Do you hear what too? Of course. Yes, I'm the one who needs a few tickets on hand for tourists who don't know how it works around here. I can't sell you anymore. Now I'll have to ask you to leave. Well, I do have them, but I can't allow them to be used. If I were to sell you these tickets, I'd be in turn the chef already. Yes, it's uh, the restaurant is a great thing in one way, but another. The physical soul is taken on its own. It's just not worth a reward. The pace he works, the elbow's liable to give out anytime soon. Of course, he might say, why not take breaks, get more sand? He is such a perfectionist, he has to do everything himself for a half. He refuses to listen to medical advice or reason away, so I, uh, lighten his burden. The best I can do is hang on to these as long as possible. The fewer tickets in circulation, the longer he can stay healthy. So. Would he sell these tickets if the chef's, or the chef's elbow were okay? What was that? Was someone talking on a phone? Well, yeah, if we have to. But it's not like there's any sort of magic potion that can fix an elbow without the recovery time necessary. Probably like that one. Or it does a sleep. The way he could work. Or that way he could work right off the bat without risk of falling out. So it have to be a custom or have to be custom made for flexible material material. Water resistant but not airtight, so you can't work. Or so you can wear it in the hot kitchen. I'm pretty sure you'd already have a sleeve like that if it existed. There's no reason to consider it. Okay, I've got it. We'll have the materials soon enough with your help, if you're willing. 
I'll send you a request with the relevant details. We must prevail on our test request for King Wong. Except for the ones from Levent. I'll save those ones for the end. Unfortunately, that means I can't really do much. Oh, I didn't actually shop, but that's still right. I read sign on it. I didn't think that they meant the direction. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you again. Didn't mean to buy that again, but whatever. No, it's fine. I have the money to spend this time. I should have, like, infinite health at this point with all of these Big Bang Burgers. Taste is optimal for it. It doesn't get much better than this. Call me over when you decide to cook this again. Don't worry, be happy. To what? The taste has made. Don't leave me out of this. I want to taste this too. It seems that Jingles was a big hit. Maybe I should come up with it. I think I pronounced that correctly earlier. Now I just can't. Good choice. Okay, so it looks like I can. All done. Yes. It's ready. Which I made quite a few. Looks good to me. All done. It's ready. So, yeah, looks like it's time to. I'll just add this. First, I'll save and then I'll go to destination. Hmm. 
This is where the accident happened, isn't it? If we put in the keyword here, we should be able to access the trauma cell. There may be enemies ahead. You sure you guys are ready? Ready as ever. That's right. I want to see what happened to Mari-san with my own two eyes. The keyword is Snow City. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. Apparently the person who wastes ammo was actually Siri. They kind of sound similar. Although it's been a while since I've heard the original Siri. What is this? It looks like this is the snow festival. Check out those two suits over there. I didn't know you were accepting rebates. <laughs> I see a career man in the making. Sir? Would you please be discreet about this? I can do that. But in return, you need to do me a favor. I want her to take full responsibility for the incident. That way, she'll resign. Once that happens, I'll be the new mayor in town. And you'll be my well-paid associate. You will cooperate, won't you? Yes. Yes, of course. What did you just say? Seems I've been found out. Uh, it's not what it looks like, Mayor. Uh, this is really Mayor? Does he mean Mayor Hyoto? Then Marisan saw this happen? I had no idea you were behind this. That anyone was behind this. Huh. You really don't get it, do you? Well, this festival's held by the city. I mean, it comes out of the taxpayer's pocket. I figured, why not lower costs and hire cheaper construction? But what's wrong with getting compensated for it? The rest of our staff makes these deals all the time. So, what's the harm in one little mishap? That sculpture collapse was just bad luck. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I'm calling the police. Well, go ahead and do it. But I'm bringing you down with me. What? I'm gonna testify that I did it under your orders. Then you'll be ruined. Well, after all, you're the one in charge here. See, I even have the papers you signed. Right here. Such an unfortunate turn of events. Sorry to say, but you're finished, Mayor. You're a councilman, aren't you? Don't you want to do the right thing? As far as I'm concerned, that's whatever's right for me. Well, are you finally ready to listen? Answer me, Mayor. Be ready. How can you blame a peon like me? We don't get paid enough for this. This world revolves around money. Money talks, bullshit walks, Mayor. Bastard! Threatened the mayor? Is that it? I had no idea Mari-san went through something like this. Something so awful. Think later, act now. We've got a real fight in our hands here.
Care to join us? Get ready! Fire damage. Get into the throne room now. Who were those guys? They were arguing with the mayor just now. One was a city employee. The other must have been a councilman. Someone higher up on the ladder. Anyway, it seems this employee accepted an illegal donation from the contractor who ended up building the sculpture. Payment for lending them the job. In other words, bribery. We don't know if the sculpture collapsed due to a structural issue or a general lack of care. The result is still the same. Either way, the councilman was in the know. Not only that, he tried using a fatal accident to take Mayor Hyodo's position. <sighs> Something along those lines. Ugh, unforgivable. Everything makes sense now. Hyodo overheard this conversation by chance and found out the truth about the accident. Not only was it someone from the city, but even her own staff had blackmailed her. That's messed up. These greedy assholes only wanted money and power. Now I have a better understanding of what Hyoda must be thinking. When she found out those around her were immoral, she became determined to purge the corruption above all else. That's why she's overworking her staff and trying to push her ethics bill through. And on top of it, she's trying to manipulate the people into re-electing her. Mari-san. Well, no matter what the reason, the birdcage is finally open. Let's head back to the hideout and discuss the specifics of the calling card.
So what do we do for the calling card? Maybe we shouldn't go overboard with it. I don't really see her as a bad person. Yeah, the real bad guy here is the one who took the bribe. No, the guy who offered the bribe in the first place is the true villain. Was it not the shoddy contractors who built the sculpture? I mean, they deserve the most punishment. <sighs> you guys sound pretty heated. Who's to say one man's more evil than the next? So you were here all along. Yep. Sure has been a while. You guys forgot about me, didn't you? Why would you not get in contact with me? Well, uh, now that you mention it... Gramps, you completely slipped our minds. All right, then. Maybe I'll forget to keep you from getting arrested. Okay, we're sorry. Uh, forget it. So what's our situation? Now I get the picture. So that's how Mariko Hyoto became a monarch. Huh, that would explain your debate as to who was the worst of them all. What's your take on it, Gramps? My take is you kids are naive. What do you mean? It's clear that Mariko Hyoto was cornered by a pair of rotten scumbags. Tragic. I agree. But what is she doing in response? Isn't it just as wrong to change people's hearts and manipulate them? That may be true, but... Furthermore, that accident was her responsibility, being that she's the top of command. Regardless of who did what, a real leader takes the fall. But even so... It may be a bitter pill to swallow, especially for a group of justice-loving kids operating outside the law, but the real world isn't so cut and dry. And the longer you keep up this hero charade, the harder it'll bite you in the ass down the line. Kichi, that's terrible! Take it back! <sighs> ah, sorry. Might have overstepped my boundaries. No, I can understand your line of reasoning. You're saying that the world isn't neatly divided into good and evil. But that won't stop us from fighting. If we give up now, then the people who are counting on us won't have any hope left. We help people in a way no one else can. That's why the Phantom Thieves exist. I understand you all take this very seriously. Then tell me, either way the cards fall, you're not letting Hyoto get away with what she's doing, are you? Correct. We're going to stop her. Haru. What Mari-san is doing is forcing her warped intentions onto other people. And we can't let that happen, no matter what the reason. Right. We're the Phantom Thieves, and we fight for what we believe in. Yes, we're gonna stop Hyoto. But we'll do it in a way that's true to us. I have no objections. It's decided then. Thank you. So how will we send the calling card? Maybe we could send it over with some curry to the mayor's office? What are we, a catering service? <sighs> if anything, it should be ramen. Might be better to avoid closed spaces, actually. After all, she'll probably be outside prepping for the election most of the time. There's no point sending a calling card if the target doesn't see it. I wonder if we can send it somewhere on her campaign route. Like somewhere she's bound to pass by. Then how about where the Suzushino posters are? I'm sure she'll have a speech over there. Yeah, and if we time it with her speech, it'll be perfect. The question is, who's going to place it there? Ah, uh, no. Not again. Seriously? Thanks in advance, Gramps. Now hold on just a minute. Didn't I already pull this stunt for you in Sendai? Consider it a favor, then. Yeah, for being such a meanie earlier. Shouldn't you own up to it? There's no need to worry. We'll make the calling card for you. We'll be counting on you, Gramps. You little weasels. All right, fine, fine. I'll post the damn calling card. We really do appreciate it. How'd I let them twist my arm like this? Uh, whatever. If we're really doing this, it'll be early in the morning. Don't be late. 
Yeah, I've gotta wait for you in the morning as well. Because of the Pyro and Mithra presentation thing. I do a speech tomorrow morning. That's from the waker or make her aware of the call card. We only have one shot at this, so let's make sure we're prepared for these imps and catch you out. Checking the request? Defeat Mothman with Sophie. You or so Sophie. Not Sophie. I just lost that for her, that's what I was thinking of. Alright, it's time. We did run into some Mothman here, so it makes sense for them to be here again. Just have to defeat ten, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, let's get going. Go ahead. Wait, good luck. All mine. just happened. Everything's fine, right? That might have just been a glitch on my end, but the audio sounded really glitchy. So. Please tell me I got all ten of them. There were so many there. Here's what I found. I found. You're already working on this one. Thank you very much. Excellent. This amount of troops wise. Thank you for your assistance. If we give these to the pharmacy manager, he should be able to stitch together an effective and professional sleep. Okay, let's go. I can almost smell the raw already. I would say if this device and full factory input. Let's return to this for the street up. Mission accomplished. <laughs> That's a lot. 
It's definitely worth it, though. should be able to make a decent amount now. This one has a bit more of a look right than the last one. I don't know why I thought I couldn't, but there was just... Yeah! With the chain thing, it felt weird. Yeah, I mean, anytime. Or I take it we can leave this team. This card's content to yes. you. I want to show Maurice on how I feel personally. You ought to rest while I get ready. Or let's ready. Tomorrow's a big day. Let's give it our all, guys. Late in the night. I guess that's why I left the camper to read the text. I'm sorry to call you out so late. I wanted to talk to you about Mari-san. It's strange how I couldn't remember Mari-san until now. Even when Hasegawa-san said her name, it didn't quite occur to me who she was. But the moment she called me Haru-chan, suddenly, it felt like a lid popped open in my mind. My memories came pouring out. I remembered all these things about my childhood, about Mari-san. How could I forget someone I loved so much? I think what happened with my father affected me more than I realized. 
all the times we spent together. And the moment he passed that away, a surprise. I must have suppressed those memories deep within my heart. At some point, I got used to hiding things away. And I even forgot a good friend like Mari-san. No, I feel like... Like I was running from it all over again. <sighs> a long time ago, I remember tagging along with Mari-san and my father during a golfing trip. I was so happy running around that I ended up tripping and falling. And of course I started crying. Then all of a sudden, Mari-san came up to me and said, Stop crying and get back up. And that shocked me at first because I always thought of her as an extremely gentle person. But because I knew she was so kind, I managed to stop crying and eventually got back up. I remember thinking Mari-san would never say anything out of place. I trusted her completely. At that point, Mari-san hugged me and said, No matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Never forget that. <laughs> can you believe it? I didn't quite understand back then, but I think I do now. There's more to good character than kindness. Being good means dealing with the bad in front of you. It means to take a stand, even when all you want to do is run away. To realize nothing will change if you keep ignoring reality. <sighs> I have you and the Phantom Thieves to thank for that. It's too late to save my father. But it's not too late for Mari-san. This time, I can change things around. I want to tell her exactly what she told me all those years ago. Yes. Thanks for hearing me out. Tomorrow, I'm going to do my absolute best. But for now, good night. I just realized that the eye, night, let's starve of it, spent it's late. I should rest up for tomorrow. Hey. Why is Haru so upset over Mariko Hyodo? I don't have a heart, so it's hard to understand. Why do people try so hard for others? I wonder if I'll ever know. Okay. I'll believe you. It may seem like a simple concept to you, but to me, it makes my mind go... <laughs> but I am humanity's companion. I am here to learn and grow. Mari-san, it'll all be over soon.
Well, first, I should write something. That would make a bit more sense. Now, let's go down that track. Let's go. We need to change Marisan's heart. Right now, like our our heart race, like the only one who uses honorifics. Well, I mean, other characters use them, but most of the time they never say them in the dub, but they'll. It'll be in like the red. or the text you have to read. Yoda's distorted form. What do you people want? You had best... Uh, best not get in my way! Uh, oh, I'm almost there. A few more votes and I'll win re-election! This is wrong, Mari-san. Those votes you gathered by twisting the people's hearts are worthless. And if you don't stop your tyranny, your staff will collapse one by one. I get why it's hard for you to trust people, but you still have to treat them with decency. Ah! You shut your impudent mouth! I've done nothing wrong! I will bring out every last ounce of corruption from my staff by working them into the ground! I'll silence all charlatans who betray me! And I will consume every last vote in the city! Whether these people agree with me or not, only then can I build a safe haven, a radiant snow city that sparkles like winter. Listen to him. When you take away someone's desire, you rob them of their agency, the ability to make their own decisions. So what good does it do to turn your loyal citizens into mindless drones? Isn't it better to let them arrive at their own conclusions? To follow their own hearts? How dare you lecture me? Good job, Muir. You tell her. Mari-san, say goodbye to the countless desires you stole. Because Beauty Thief and the Phantom Thieves are about to take them back. Honestly, they're all in my way. Ah, this is the last straw. Ah, you've made me so very Still have time, and the main course.
So you have to like keep interrupting the battle like this just to use the item. That ramen's really nice now. <laughs> 18 of them, so. Toy. Um, while holding X, special attacks um, gradually become faster. That chandelier on her. Take her spit up from the impact. 
What's happening here? That one will also work. Are you ready? Escape. This cannot be. If I fall, what kind of monster? Wait, not yet. I won't let it end this way. I need to wipe out all of Sephora's injustice. Please stop. Haven't you done enough? What? You're a kind person, Mari-san, and I know you've tried to shoulder all of this alone. The staff member who took bribes, the councilman who tried to set you up, even the girl who died in the accident. <sighs> Each of these things grieved you, and in order to make a city where none of it could reoccur, you took action as you saw fit. Am I right? As the mayor, I know very well that little girl's death was ultimately my fault. But my staff betrayed me, all for their insatiable greed. I thought I could leave that awful position behind. Unfortunately, it wasn't as simple as that. Had I gone, I'd only be replaced by greedy scum. That's why I never stepped down. In this world, it's either eat or be eaten. And with circumstances so cruel, I decided I'd be the one doing the eating. Even if every last one of my votes were false, at least I could use them to make the world a better place. But if I was replaced as mayor, who would be there to honor that little girl's memory? An innocent girl lost her life, yet I could do nothing to stop the evil still afoot. It's not too late to set this right. First, you must tell the people everything that happened. Then can you get a fresh start? But this time, on your own strength. That would be impossible. I cooperated with those awful men to hide the truth. That way I could continue being mayor. There's nothing I can do. <sighs> Stand up, Mariko Hyodo! <gasps> are you just going to stay knocked down? You are a kind and strong woman. 
not someone who collapses over mistakes. So stand up and hold your head up high. Because no matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Isn't that... Yes. You said that to me a long time ago. Even if you told the people the truth about the incident, there are those who would still see the good in you. Don't let your position ruin you. Think back to what you stood for. She's right, Mayor. You can't give up. If you tell everyone your side of things, they'll listen. When my father died, I felt like my heart was going to break. But thanks to the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand strong and move forward. That's why I know you can too. Remember the part of you that taught me to get back up, no matter how many times I fall. Yes. You're right. Thank you, Haruka. What I've done was wrong. I drove my employees to the brink and used a strange power to manipulate the votes. I was so driven by my personal agenda, I lost sight of how I originally felt. And why I ran for mayor in the first place. To make the city beloved by everyone. To give back to the home where I was raised. That's reason enough to take another step. I won't make this mistake again. I never needed this power from the start. Haruchan, you've grown so much. Your father must be so happy in heaven. Mari-san. Happy? <gasps> this place is collapsing! Let's go! It's right around it collapses even though it still stays intact. Well, I guess you can't enter the... Palace? Castle. That's what that is. I, was say, I don't want to say palace and be wrong, but I couldn't think of what it was until I said palace. I mean, a castle and a palace are pretty similar things. Well, not in this game, but. At least I think. I don't think there's some. Sort of <sighs> that took us quite a while. Difference. Haru, you were fantastic. Of. It was only because you were all with me. But I do wonder if Mari-san will be okay. I'd say so. Her shadow disappeared like they always do. Yeah, your feelings definitely reached her. I'm sure her heart has changed for the better. Well, I guess this wraps up the mission. We still need to confirm that the citizens are all back to normal. It'd be nice if we could do that right away. Can we grab something to eat first? I'm hungry enough to pass out here. He has a point. Battles can't be fought on an empty stomach. The battle's already over, but still. Hey, can we try Genghis Khan? That delicious lamb barbecue dish? Ooh, that's a must in Hokkaido. What? I thought we were finally getting lobster hot pot. Since when did we decide that? The twins. Why would we when it's so damn hot out? But if you think about it, isn't Genghis Khan also sort of like hot pot? Triplets. No way! Isn't it supposed to be barbecue? Well, cooking Genghis Khan does require a utensil called a Genghis Khan pot. And you can't barbecue in a pot. Ah, huh. I figured as much. Then to lobster hot pot we go. Why? What? What even is this conversation? I'm not sure. <laughs> hey, was that a smile just now? Yeah, straight from Sapporo. It's Beauty Thieves award winning smile. I'm relieved too. I thought you might be weighed down by all that's happened. Indeed. She was so weighed down that she met up with our leader for a private midnight chat. Huh? Were you watching? Fill up the strong bombs, my friends. Increases ammo count for all party members. <laughs> all right, Sophia. Find us the best Genghis Khan in Sephora. Hmm. Sophia? Uh, sorry. Okay, I've got it. Almost bonding, Grace. Then it'll increase.
degrees between now and the next drill. But yeah, drill three finally finished. That one definitely took the longest so far. Did you hear about the interviews and their staff? And the mayor's approval rating? Kind of odd. Well, or why was I supporting Hyodo again? Well, that one seems pretty normal to me. Their fanatical support for Mariko Hyodo appears to have died down. I'm glad they're back to their senses. What a drastic change. Just goes to show how powerful a monarch's influence can be. Hey, guess what? Yodo san's holding a press conference right now. Time for Haru to crash the press conference. Thank you all for taking your time to gather here today. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to share with everyone. As of today, I will be resigning from office. I do not intend to seek re-election either. During my time as mayor, I've betrayed all of your trust. You may think of me as a mayor who's earned your trust, but in truth, there's plenty that I'm ashamed of. The snow sculpture that collapsed was built by an unscrupulous company that bribed one of my staff. In spite of my responsibility, I neglected to see the finer details and went ahead with the construction. As a result, the sculpture ended up collapsing and a girl's precious life was lost. Furthermore, I elected to cover up the truth, all so I could save my position. I've been garnering votes I didn't deserve in order to stay on as mayor. I betrayed everyone to protect myself and covered it up by allowing more wrongdoing. I am among the guilty. That little girl, she died because of me. <sighs> Such, I will have the police reinvestigate the case and offer my full assistance. And again, I will drop out of the election and forfeit my position as mayor. Seems that Hyoro san's made up her mind. I wonder if she'll be arrested. Good question. Oh, Hyoro was afraid that if she wasn't the mayor, she couldn't protect her people. She could have told the truth and made her underling take the blame. But she was concerned about other evils potentially lurking in the shadows. I think this turned out for the best. Mari-san wouldn't have wanted to hide her mistake forever. Kichi is on the line. Hey, you guys see Hyoto's press conference? Yep, you all did a bang up job. Really, can't thank you enough. They plan on bringing Kyoto in as a key witness regarding the accident. I knew you'd want to analyze her phone, too. So I pulled a few strings, and now I'm her personal chauffeur. At least as far as the station. If you want, I can open up some time for you to talk to her. Just tell me where you want to meet. I'm sorry. How could you ever forgive me, Kaho-chan? Mari-san. Haru-chan. Listen, there was something wrong with me. It's like I was in a terrible dream. I don't know when it was that my heart grew so cold, but after what you told me, I remembered who I really was inside when I became mayor. I wanted to protect the city and everyone in it as if they were my own family. I remembered that feeling. Thanks to you, I've finally been able to confront myself, and I realized that I was doing a horrible disservice to that girl. I had lost sight of reality and begun acting self-righteous. Nothing I did was for her sake. But Mari-san, you were doing the best you could. No, it's the truth. Had I not realized my mistake, 
I would have likely continued to hurt even more people. But that's not what Kahojan would want. So let me say it. Thank you, Haruji. Thank you for saving this city. For saving my family. Mari-san! Your father's recent passing must have caused you so much turmoil. I'm sorry I added to it. But if there's anything I can do for you in the future, any way I can be there, just ask me. I say this because you're a precious part of my family, too. Thank you so much, Mari-san. Oh, Haru-chan! I'm happy for you, Haru. Hmm. I suppose I must get going. Though I am concerned about the state of affairs I've left our city in, I'll leave it up to my successor. An arrogant wretch like me has no place being the mayor. Does that mean you won't be involved in politics anymore? Yes. I'm too ashamed to show my face in public. And at my age, there are plenty of younger folks who can... Mayor. I saw the news. So you're resigning. And you're leaving politics for good? That's right. I've promised to step down and never... You can't be serious! Resigning won't bring her back. In fact, it won't change a thing. Kaho. Nothing can change what happened to my daughter. Hey, uh, shouldn't we get in there? Hold that thought a moment. So you can't. You can't just run away. You need to start over. You become our mayor again. What? When I was weeping with rage and grief, you stood there and cried with me. Instead of running away, you were there when I needed someone the most. I know your character more than anyone. Ma'am, thank you for sharing your heart with me. Then I promise to both you and your daughter, I will stand back up and become your mayor again. Marisa. Hmm. I don't get it. I know this is a sad moment. Everyone is crying. But it also feels warm and kind. How would you describe this? I see. So that's why Haru helped Yodo transform sadness into happiness, recording valuable data. Sophia has learned happiness. That must have been the mom of the girl who passed away. It seems like she really understood Yoda's intentions. I'm so happy for you, Marisan. She reminded me of what Haru said in jail. Stand up, Mariko Yodo! Like that? <laughs> hey! That was a tender moment! There's no need to reenact it. Yeah, but you played it so cool back there. Oh, it really touched my heart. Could you please forget it already? Indeed, truly moved. You did good, Harry. That's... It really was touching. <laughs> touching. I don't really understand the bomb level system. Like, you'll just be continuously getting leveled throughout uh, the times in between the tree up. Well, we solved those problems before. The question is, what comes next? It doesn't seem like we're making much progress until... It's or we'll be back in the progress until some Petra gets back. Should we do some slicing while we wait? That's kind of late, I guess. This hour, I recommend Ferris will over in Tsushina. Nice. That's a good idea. We should um, go invite someone to come along. Now then. Oh, I thought it was like a full hour. Save on the last one. But yeah, I am just going to be hitting things here for now, I think. So, finally made it through the uh, third shell here. I believe that was like another five hours of streaming today.
footage, it was split up in between three streams, so it was kind of hard to tell. I also recorded a bit of Breath of the Wild, but uh, I decided not to upload it because I didn't really like how it ended up going. Because, yeah, Breath of the Wild turned three today, so I was going to do a bit of a anniversary celebration. Or, I think I said turn three, but it turned four. This is the third, so that's what I was thinking. But yeah, turn four. Uh, Hollow Knight turned four, like, last week, I believe, so that's kind of interesting. And the Switch itself is also four uh, years old today, so that's kind of interesting. Um, there will be another anniversary coming up soon. Or something similar to that. Saturday that I'm going to be uh, streaming. I think it's, it's, I believe, the first time I'm going to be streaming this, even though I've streamed for long enough to where I could have streamed it in the past, but I, I'm not sure uh, if I will or not. But yeah, um, there will be more information about that Saturday. It depends on how much time I have as well that day. I'll at least be partaking in events related to it and what it's related to, but yeah. Um, for now, I'm just going to be ending the stream here, so I guess I'll see everyone in the next one.